Hey Brenda, I, I think I came up with an idea for this video. Well, I had my own idea, but well, just just <laughs> come just, on, it's come on, Donna. just hear me out. It's Donna. Fun with clothespins. Would you like to show them? Okay, it's oh. it's a good idea because everyone's into recycling, right? And you could use like like beer crowns on them, or we could just decorate them with team colors or logos. What do you think, Brenda? I think it's a, I think it's a good idea. Well, I don't think you think it's a good idea. <laughs> I think she she picked a good color for her skin tone, didn't yes, she? Yes, I think so. That's an, always important. Yes, you know, it a is. lot of artists neglect to do that when they pick color. I love this you know, color. What looks good on people. I mean, it's a good color. But today's video is about alcohol inks. You and know I'm, what? I think that's a better idea. Brenda. Well, that's just it. See, there's. Lots of ideas out there, and creative types are just bombarded with already ideas. And you got to let yourself think. Right. Let yourself think let out of the box. Let yourself go out mm -hmm. of the box. Uh, who knows? Maybe some days, you know, I, I know there's lots of crafts with clothespins. I'm a little bit putting you on with the clothespins. But I think you should leave them on. They're uh, a good color for you. But here's the thing. We're going to do alcohol inks today. I found some things that worked really well with alcohol inks. I found some things that I did not enjoy doing with alcohol inks. I made an unholy mess over here, yes. but I want to share it with you because I think it's going to be very educational. And I also made a cuff, which I'm not going to pick up and show now because it's going to blur. But you're going to love the cuff. The cuff. I love the cuff. You're definitely going to be wanting to do the cuff and a few other things. So, like I always say, get on over here, and we're going to show you what we did. Okay, so you can see here that I have quite a lot of things that I've tried. I have a lot of Adirondack uh, alcohol inks, which we do carry at thesuperboutiques.com. I've carried them off and on. I have to tell you, of all the mixed media colorants, alcohol inks is the one that sometimes I just don't quite get. The people that love them, really truly love them, and the ones that don't, really don't. And I, I'm kind of somewhere really in the middle. I'm finding that they work really super well for some things and other things I'm not liking them. And here's the thing about alcohol inks. You have to seal them. Now, I used to be under the impression that you had to heat set alcohol inks. And I think maybe it was because we used to work in the old workshop. Remember the old workshop videos? And that was basement and it was a little bit damp down there and they just didn't dry for me well down there. Up here at the shop, they dry very quickly. Kate says to me, well they have alcohol in them. Alcohol dries fast. And she's right, they do. They dry very fast. You can speed up the process if you want with a heat tool. Um, this is the one that we carry. And I think this is the best. I don't know if she's getting that in there. I think this is the best one. I hope that didn't bore. It will. It's the best one. I forgot <laughs> it, it was will. on camera. It will. <laughs> it will. It will. I'll have you cut it out. Um, I'm holding it long enough. This is the one we carry. This one is so hot, you can't get hotter than this except a torch. So this is the one to buy, and we have it on the site, and they are in stock most always. I almost never run out. Okay, I'm slowly going to get this out of here. Okay, there's a lot of things to talk about. I'm going to try and do it kind of fast and then give you quick demonstrations. And after that, it's up to you because I've been experimenting a lot. And um, what I found that alcohol inks are very good for is doing, like, for example, leaves. Okay? These are raw brass. They're from our website, and I think the leaf is... LF06906. LF06906. And what's cool about this leaf, this leaf was actually used in vintage jewelry. You'll find a lot of 1930s brass jewelry that's made with this. We have it, I think, in two sizes. But anyway, I am going to use this one, the lettuce. It's so simple. You just open the, the bottle. If you've never used them before, they have this nozzle tip. They're very runny. <laughs> Well, I didn't have to tell you much about that. They're very runny. Indeed, they are. Okay, so I just put a little bit down. In fact, probably more than I needed to. But see how they start to just go out to all I, the edges? I like that color a lot. Yeah, it's a good color for jewelry. Now, this is a little bit too absorbent, so I shouldn't have done that. I should have taken a, a, a brush. See, these are the things that you find out. And so, I'm you know what? Get, that, off get of that out of there, Donna. I am. Get, just get that out of there. I'm trying to keep my hands out of the way. I notice when I go back and I proof these videos, my hands are in the way too much. Okay, 
So now I'm going to use the brush and I'm going to just pull it out. So you just saw that, you know, the swab kind of works, but maybe you're better with a brush. See how pretty? And that left the veins all dark. Just kind of drag the brush across. And once again, these are the brushes that go with the um, iced enamels that you get from Susan Leonard Casmer. We also have them at the website. Um, I just love those little tiny brushes. They're so cheap and they work so nicely. So it's basically done. All you do is you just let that dry and voila! Here's a pair that are done. I think I used a couple of colors on these. And you have to seal them. Now here's the thing about alcohol inks. You cannot seal them with Krylon spray lacquer like I do a lot of stuff. Because it will just run everywhere. All your work will come undone. You've got to use diamond glaze or Mod Podge, which I don't have here, but we do carry it at the site. A lot of you have it in your workshops already. Mod Podge has been around for like ever. Uh, diamond glaze has too. This is very good. Um, also, another product that I recently found works very nicely is this Allergy Jewelry Shield, which we carry on the website. You can use this as a lacquer as well. And that's what I used on here. Okay? I did another pair like that, and these also have the Allergy Jewelry Shield on. Okay. How Most, long would they, should they dry before you attempt oh, to seal it, them? It, 20, 30 minutes. It won't even take that long. They'll dry really, really quick. Okay. But you, you want to be sure they're good and dry. You don't want to mm -hmm. be putting stuff over them when they're not dry. Okay. okay. Now, I did a bit of chain with some Stream alcohol ink. And what I did is I took one of these little resin cups that you get, the little medicine cups. You could even save them. And um, your phone's going off. Yeah, right? I thought I had that shut down. Yeah, oh well. We it's don't, the theme we, song we, for the good, bad, and the ugly, yeah, but we'll, we'll just let it go. It goes with your personality. Well, yeah. Uh, not that you're ugly, good, or bad. Okay, no, uh, anyway, does. okay, enough of that. Okay, to do this, we got to get back to the deal because they'll complain bitterly. Um, all you could do is just put a little bit of this in the cup and then just kind of stick that down there in there. I'm not going to do it again because it's done. As you see here, there's a whole bunch of little heishi beads. I did them that way too. The only thing is, is they are not sealed, and so I can bring them into the focus. <laughs> they are not really sealed, and that's going to be fun. So I would have to probably string them on a head pin or an eye pin, like I did these. These are the little argyle beads. Let me get them closer into the little the little argyle beads from our site. Well, we got a bunch of them in raw brass, and you can colorize them. You can use Gilder's paste, which you've made into a paint like I showed you the other week with paint thinner. You can use the vintage inks. I like that very much. You can use acrylic paint, but you got to seal them. Well, with alcohol inks, there you go. You got to do Mod Podge, which is glurpy. You got to do Diamond Glaze, which is glurpy. Jewelry Shield, not so glurpy. I do Jewelry Shield. These have Jewelry Shield, but they will make a really nice little pop of color and a pair of earrings, you know, or your mixed metal minis. Go back to that and add a pop of color with some alcohol inks on your argyle beads. And so now we have these on the site. Um, I don't have the skew for you, but just punch argyle beads, A-R-G-Y-L-E, into the site search box and what we have will come up. We've got lots of them. Okay, moving on. Oh, with this too, oh, I wanted to tell you one more thing about this chain. When it's dyed, you have to take it out of there, and then you have to seal it again, which I sealed this with diamond glaze, and then it wants to all stick together, so you have to go through and break up the links. But you must seal it, because if you don't seal alcohol links, they're coming off, baby. It's just, you got to seal them. If you know something different or a better thing to use, I tried the vintage glaze. This is what happened. I had this... A beautiful color. I had the latte and the stream all running into each other. It was really quite dark and lovely. And then I used vintage glaze over top of it and it became this light green and it ran. And it's actually quite beautiful, but this is not what I intended it to be. So again, a good idea maybe, but I didn't get what I wanted from it. But it's nice and sealed. So, if you use the Vintage Glaze, it's going to migrate your color, so probably not what you want to do. Okay, enough of that. Now, another thing that's really super good for the inks is to do a cameo. 
So I am going to take this Cameo, like we did our um, Gilder's Paste ones the other day. Well, alcohol inks are good too, and I'm just going to take her and I'm just going to cover her. You want to get the Cameos, you know, with some white on it, so it's really, look at the detail coming up. Okay, she's got a lot of detail now. Okay, now I need to get some of this sopped up a little bit too much. Okay, and now this is kind of rough, so it's going to buff it back, even though this isn't quite dry yet. Now, what would be better is if I let her sit for a little bit and then did it, but you can get the idea. And you know, you could just keep going back with layers. You could put some black on it. You could even do black acrylic paint once it's set up. Once it's dry, um, I could really do a lot more with it to buff it out. Now, I'm going to give you an example because this one, you know, we're just going to take too much time today if I sit and mess with that. Here's one. It looked like this to begin with. I used raisin alcohol ink on that. I just buffed it back. Really pretty. And a lot more detail than white. Um, I did this one. I think this had raisin too and I buffed it out and this was blue. Now it's a kind of a periwinkle mauve color with some pink down here buffed out. Very nice. This one I did stream and lettuce and it almost looks like the swelling and patina but it took very very little time. To do. You know, it's like the same cameo can look so many different ways. Just exactly. You know, just a, you know, that's why that's why people are saying, well, you know, we're using so many common products, and people look like they're copying each other nowadays. That's <laughs> that's up to you. You know, yeah, it doesn't have you know, to it be doesn't that. have to be that way. Mm -hmm. You take the pieces, you disassemble them, you put them back together, you color them a certain way, you develop your own colorant uh, system. You use this, you use this, you use this, mm -hmm. and you achieve your own. So no, 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 no. If you want to look like everybody else's, just put something on something and don't do anything to it. But change it up, disassemble, reassemble, put other parts on yeah. it, do a mix of found items yeah, that's always and nice. new. And, you know, it's always going to be original to you. Something else I found that was really super good for alcohol inks, and I'm going to demonstrate, in fact, with this one, is filigree. You can see this filigree, I did, um, I did lettuce, no, pesto. Pesto I did. Pesto in this and almost made it look like that uh, gold green, gold, you know, green gold, uh, yeah. you know what I'm talking I about, from being in the jewelry store. Yes. And then I took a little raisin and went over the raised edges here to add a little bit of extra dimension to it. Here it is in the raw, and that is Phil 0604. F-I-L-0604. And this is the one that Kelly Coat used in her video that I'm showing on my website. In fact, mm -hmm. I think I on this that. very piece yeah. where you can bend this across your arm to make, I can't bend it enough right now, but you can bend it across your arm to make a bracelet middle. So you'll want to look for Kelly's video. Um, also, for those who liked that Russian gold plate look that we used to carry and then I couldn't carry it anymore because of plating issues. You can make kind of a Russian gold plated look with alcohol inks using latte. So let's see how close I can get to this one that I did. Now it's going to make a mess because it's going to go all through so be sure that you have lots of um, sure you have lots of plastic down on your work surface and you see I'm gloved up there's a reason for that because yeah, it doesn't my look hands look your hands. my hands look bad enough as it is dry old winter weather broken nails okay so I did this all right now I'm just going to kind of go over it with my finger because I don't want this to be you know very strong for that Russian gold plated look that was kind of a, a matte gold with a very honeyed look appearance to it so we don't want too much and you're going to have to do front and back so I've got some extra here so I just go ahead and get her on there and you could use a paintbrush or you know a sponge or whatever you know you want to use and you just do it whatever give me one of these here, get, so it. get it for me there Donna save time sure. but you can see what's happened here I've got a nice little glow and it's not quite the same as this so you know, so you have to experiment to get your recipe down just right. That just know? looks like so much fun. Yeah, I think uh, I might have put a little green with that too, originally too. But you can see how subtle that is on the filigree. I'll, ooh, 
Just <laughs> Don't squeeze that. Ah, stop it. <laughs> anyway, you know, it's very, very subtle on filigree. So it's super for filigree. Now, something I didn't like it on at all was this luggage tag, which is FIG 04123. One of my most favorite things that we carry. I use this all the time. But it's got too much flat surface. You need something that has a lot of design interest going on, a lot of texture. So, eh, eh. Maybe if I torched this first and then had added some alcohol ink or something, it might have been good. Eh, I don't like this. I'm not just, just not crazy about it. Yeah. This needs work. I might come back to you another time and say, oh, you know what, look, I improved it. This is wonderful now, but today I'm not liking this. this to me, this is not a good idea today. So uh, on the luggage tag, maybe uh, you do better with a torch patina, do better with uh, Swelligant. Swelligant's awesome on this. Uh, the gingerbread patina from my early videos where you use salt water and vinegar in the oven, this is awesome. Uh, there's other ways to go, but alcohol inks, I don't like it so much. Okay, now, here are two blanks. They look like this originally. These are from our website. The number is, this pendant is FIG07299. F-I-G-07299. The heart base um, is BASE07307. And what I did is I took them and I torched them real hard with my mini, my micro torch, okay? And then I took them over to my steel bench block with a texture hammer and I added in all this texture, little X's marks, okay? If you want to see what these looked like before I put the latte and the pesto um, alcohol ink on them, I'm going to flip them over because it didn't go any on it. This is what it looks just like with the torch. So you might say, well, Brenda, so I kind of like it better like that. And I would say, you know what? That's just a different look. Um, I kind of like it that way too, but it really got rich when I put the alcohol inks on it. So now I'm ready to, um, I think I will draw holes in them. On this one anyway, I would draw a hole here, here, and here at the bottom, set them with rivets, because you know how I like to finish my holes for a nice finished look. And then I will go ahead and put jewelry shield or diamond glaze or something on this on a sponge in a very light coat. Or it could be Mod Podge matte would be okay. And then maybe I might even do a little bit of tissue decoupage in a few places and I would have an awesome pendant. Same with this. Maybe I'll put another finding on top of that. Um, maybe one of my cameos. I really like that texture. Yeah, I yeah, it's awesome. This is a heavier, uh, if you're looking for stuff to etch too, guys, you got to go 24 gauge up. This is just a little side. This one's super for etching, and we'll do, be doing a video on etching one day, probably when Miss Kate comes back to visit me for our Brenda Bender week. Okay, so enough of that. Now, the big thing for this video is I want to show you these cuffs. Awesome. I would want to wear them. I use three colors on these. This is all alcohol ink. Um, the inside of this one is finished with Gilder's paste. And I have to add the jewelry shield to this yet. This has uh, diamond glaze sponged over the top, so it's permanent. Now, how did I get this like this? Well, I'm going to tell you very quickly, and then I'm going to take a break to run one up under the torch and come back and show you how this flows down over. And this does make a huge mess. Um, but worth it, don't you think? Yeah, I do. I do too. Yeah. Um, what you do is you start out with this raw brass cuff, and you can see this has a tremendous amount of texture on it. It is cuff 09740 in raw brass, and we usually always have plenty of these on this site. We have them in like every color, but you want it in raw brass mm -hmm. or brass ox maybe. But for the torch, you want it in raw brass. Okay, I'm going to set these back here. These little cups come in handy, man. You can just use them for holders and all kinds of stuff. Um, anyway, so I'm going to take a break, so I'm going to have Javi shut this off, and I'm going to run this up under the torch, because it's just going to be easier that way, save us time, bring it back hot, and show you how I get the color to flow on it, okay? So anyway, this is really, really, really stinking hot. Let me tell you, it is so hot, but it's not melting through the craft mat, because it's one of those silicone mats. Uh, Kate brought me this um, for when we were doing some soldering um, with the... 
you know, the tape mm -hmm. and the, the... Oh, is that when you the, got yeah, that? Yeah, we were trying to do that. Okay, that. anyway, so it's okay. But anyway, you can see, you know, it's all kinds of pretty colors from the torch because I it's raw brass. Torch, raw brass. That's because raw brass has a lot of copper in it. Okay, but before this cools down too much, basically all you do, and this is, you know, this is ex experiment the whole way because you, you got to play with this. Here's one I did a whole long time ago. That's all alcohol ink. See how it was hot and it all ran down. And then this is resin in the middle, which got applied later. Okay, I'm gonna stick that up there out of the way. All right, here's how she goes. And I've been on a touch this with my gloves. Was my gloves will melt? Oh, she's melting. Oh boy, on camera because she's to... melting. Okay, so <laughs> and you can see how it just kind of just because it's so hot, it just it's like you can hear little frying sounds, <laughs> and it's just drying like like almost immediately. But you just like let it dribble down. And you're going to want to use at least two colors, probably three. And please don't touch it with your fingers, darling. How long will that stay so hot like that? Oh, I don't know. Ten minutes, maybe. Wow. Not forever. Okay. So I've got my primary color on there. Okay, let me set that aside. And I think I want to do some pesto. I love rich gold green browns. I do too. I I like those colors, autumn colors, I guess. Okay, so I'm going to, now, and it's kind of filling in where there was no color. I love that green, too. You and then it's kind of one. mixing in. I'm trying to keep my hand out of there so you can see what the hand I'm doing. But see how it's making this spider web effect, almost a, a webbed effect? And, and then where it goes in the creases, it's kind of turning black. You see that? Know, there's no black in this. You see it, Donna? I just had to get closer. Yeah, get closer. That so is see. It's just got this me, webbed effect. See, aren't you glad you've waited around this long? Rob says, you know, Aunt Brenda, you should really make your video short. I can't say it in 25 words or less. Okay, I could wear that with jeans. Up. That's just one of those things you just pick up and wear every day. Okay. So it's kind of like it. you guys are here with us. And see how, see, it's just kind of like mosaic almost. You just I, mean, these two colors? I mean, I think in this case I need to only because it went into the cracks and where it went in the cracks, it became black. I'll get that up close. I hope that that doesn't blur. I want you guys to see. See, it almost like traced outlines and the little dimples in this cuff. And of course it did run underneath. So you're going to have to either ink it inside you I'm can't do this. You Brenda. cannot torch this again, though. Once you you've can't. got alcohol, oh no, you want to well, light I would up. think it might. Light up. <laughs> yeah, I would think it would be dangerous. <laughs> I'm glad you mentioned that, though. Yeah, you know, no, but no, you you have to use something else, either inside light or you can't do it hot. You could maybe use your heat gun to get it hot. That shouldn't hurt anything. But that's basically, you know, all you do to get that webbed effect. And it really does look mosaic. Uh, yeah. When you said and, that, yeah, I and I mean that's so all true. there is. But the torch is what does it best, not the heat gun. You can use the heat gun, but it's not going to web like that. You got to get it really mm -hmm. super hot. Then when you're done, it's cooled off. You just take a sponge and some diamond glaze. Sponge this mm -hmm. on, or better yet, better yet, always better, ice resin. Ice resin is a very good top for alcohol inks. Okay. But you may not want it that glossy because mm -hmm. ice resin is rather glossy. It's always glossy. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, diamond glaze, if you use a lot of it, it's glossy. But if you just use a little bit, mm -hmm. maybe two thin coats, uh, you're good to go. These are rather glossy. They're pretty like that, yeah. though. So you it could works. add embellishments to them or not. It's up to you. But that's pretty much what I had for you guys today. Some things work. Some things don't. Some things are a constant experiment. Yeah, I like to say to there are no bad ideas. Uh, if there were, Donna's clothespins were kind of that was pretty go, close to go, a bad idea. Go in there, but you know, it's, it's it's just the beginning of an idea. Yeah. You know, who knows? You know, down the road, <laughs> what people will be doing. So try some alcohol links. Get some. Uh, we carry them. We have most of these colors. If you want to come get them from us, we would appreciate it. We do have the blanks and stuff you need. And darlings, you are not going to find this brass in no craft store, okay? This is U.S. made brass. It is not imported. It is rich low brass, meaning it's high copper content. 
is the best money can buy. The stuff we have that has finishes on it at bisuboutiques.com are the best finishes money can buy. But for this project, you want raw brass, and we have tons of it. So come to bisuboutiques.com, load up a cart, and we'll get her shipped on out to you. And then you can let me know what you did with it, because uh, we are always open to your ideas. Come and join us at the Bisu Boutiques Creative Group at Facebook. And uh, there's like oh, it's a lot of so almost 1,800 people there now, yeah. and all you learn a lot. Just yeah, all, all that miss, all that's missing is you. Mm -hmm. You need to come. Please come. Okay, so till next week, have fun and try some alcohol inks. Now don't be afraid to try new ideas. No.